Welcome back to the channel. In today's lesson, we'll see chain rule method of differentiation. I'll start by explaining chain rule method of differentiation, also known as function of a function. And we'll use multiple examples to help us understand it. But before we get into class, I want to say a big thank you to all our subscribers. If you have subscribed to our channel, I say a big thank you as we have clocked the 750 mark. We have 250 to go. Please do share our content with your beloved ones. And if you are yet to subscribe and you've been viewing our content, why not hit the subscribe button? That way you'll be telling YouTube you love what we're doing. Thank you and let's see in class. One of those common principles you find in differentiation is what we call chain rule. The chain rule method of differentiation. Or you call it function of a function. Now, when we're differentiating and we have y is a function of x, that is, y is equal to f of x. When we differentiate, we differentiate and we come up with dy dx. Now, if y now is not just a function of x directly, but let's say y is a function of u. On differentiating, I'll come up with dy du. Now, if u also is a function of x, Differentiating, I'll come up with dy, I'll come up with du, sorry, dx. For y now to actually come up as a function of x, we'll be saying that by dy dx will be the same thing as dy du times du dx. In principle, you see that du cancels du, then I should come up with dy dx. Now, this is the foundational principle of your chain rule. Let's take some examples to help us understand this better. Now, for our first example, we have that y is equal to sine x, sine 4x plus 3. Now, I can say let u equals to 4x plus 3. So that if u is equal to 4x plus 3, then we'll be saddled with finding our du dx. Let's remember that if y is equal to ax raised to power n, my dy dx will be the same thing as a into n, x raised to power n minus 1. So that du dx here becomes 4 into 1, my n here is 1, x raised to power 1 minus 1 plus 3. 3 is actually a constant and you know how we treat constant, we we'll it as x raised to power 0. 0 multiplies 3 to become 0. Everything here becomes what? 0. So I'm left with my du dx to be equal to 4. 4 x to the power 1 minus 1, that's x to the power 0. That's 1 times 4, and that's 4. So if we've gotten our du dx, we have our u is equal to 4x plus 3. Obviously, my y is equal to sine u, which implies that my dy du now will be the same thing as cos u. Remember, for function of a function, my dy dx is equal to dy du times du dx, which is equal to 4 times cos u. That's the same thing as 4 times the cos u is equal to 4x plus 3, 4x plus Let's take a second example. In my second example, it's very similar. I have it that y now is equals to 2x minus 5 all raised to power 4. So I will say let u be equals to 2x minus 5. My du dx will be the same thing as 2. My n here is 1. I have x raised to power 1 minus 1 again. And obviously, I have another constant 5 that becomes 0. So this is the same thing as 2. x raised to the power 1 minus 1, that's x raised to the power 0, and that's 1. Now, if you if we've substituted for u, then I can say that my y is equal to u raised to the power 4. That means my dy du, obviously, will be the same thing as 4u raised to the power once again, remember that our dy dx, 
over dy dx is the same thing as du dx times dy du times dy du. Now that is the same thing as 2. My du dx is 2 times 4 u raised to power 3. That's the same thing as 8 u raised to power 3. We assume du to be the same thing as 2x minus 5. That means my dy dx invariably will be the same thing as 8 into 2x minus 5 raised to power 3. This junction. Let's see our third example. Here's our third example. For this example, I'll appreciate you pause this video and give this example a trial. Okay. Now, if y is equal to u raised to the power 3x plus 4, let u be equal to 3x plus 4. So that u dx will be the same thing as 3 into 1, which is my n, x raised to the power 1 minus 1 once again. That's the same thing as 3. And my y now is equal to e raised to the power u. When you are differentiating e raised to the power u, your dy du from standard differentiation will be the same thing as e raised to the power u. Remember that my dy dx is equal to du dx times dy du. So that this will be the same thing as 3 times e raised to the power u, which is equal to 3e raised to the power 3x plus 4. Now let's see our fourth example. That might be the last. Now, for the fourth example, we have e, we have y to be equal to e sine x. Once again, we'll be saying let u be equal to sine x so that du dx you differentiate sine x you get cos x and then y now will be the same thing as 4e raised to power u dy du obviously is the same thing as 4e raised to power u once again my dy dx is the same thing as du dx dot dy du which is equal to cos x dot 4e raised to the power u now let's arrange it properly that's the same thing as 4e raised to the power u cos x so let's substitute back for u that will be 4e e is sine x u is sine x dot cos with this, I hope you understand how to work with chain rule or function of a function. In case you have gray areas, please don't hesitate to share with us in the comment section. We'll be ready to assist you. Thank you and see you in our next class.